Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening here doing individual zodiac sign readings. This one's for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, check your North Node. I just want to say thank you to the new subscribers, existing subscribers, returning subscribers. Thank you. I hope I show enough appreciation to you guys as I feel it back from you. Thank you, thank you. So I'm jumping right into these ones. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Pisces. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Pisces. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? All right, thank you in advance. All right, first two cards are Current Energy, Two of Rods, along with the Hermit. The Ace of Rods in the Heart Space, the Sun, Possible Outcome, Justice, Four of Pentacles. Underlying Energy, which you might not be aware of, We've got the Four of Cups with Death and the Moon. Whoa. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So, Pisces, you, in this spread, I'm speaking to some Pisces who are way too much detail-focused. You're like, zo you're zeroing in on all these little details that are kind of getting in the way of your happiness. Um... And there's a major transformation coming. Just, there's some fear. There's, you have a fear of transforming. You know, I think you know. I, I mean, yes, you, of course you know. You know that there are some things about yourself you want to change. The very next card in the underlying energy is this, <laughs> the hanged man within the emperor. You're being stubborn, Pisces. There, I said it. You're being stubborn. Um, you're, you're like, this is, to me, this four cups along with these two underlying energies, it's like, because there's a little fear about changing all, you know, everything you are, <laughs> everything you've known yourself to be to this point, you're like, well, I can't really do it today because I've got to go to my mom's, um, her, her book club thing and I can't do it next week because the kids all have practice and like really like you're doing that like you're putting off your spiritual growth as if it's like you could just pencil it in. <laughs> you're like I'm gonna I, I'm gonna change next Tuesday I promise and then next but there's this fear it, it's this fear of what's gonna happen when I change these things about myself that you know, I've always known them to be, you know, if you've always kind of been the people pleaser, what, what will I do if I'm not people pleasing? Well, you're absolutely exhausted, number one, and you're finding yourself probably less appreciated for all the people pleasing that you're doing. So changing that is going to lead to what? More people appreciating, but you know, you're, you might end up losing some relationships along the way, some familial relationships, some platonic relationship, romantic relationship. That's that fear of the unknown. But it's also a very codependent energy. And I think there's that there's that recognition here in this that I don't want to be codependent and I don't want to do this, but I'm scared. Like you're I mean I I get this Pisces. I completely get this. So I mean, this four of cups here is just really you kind of dragging your heels like you know what needs to be done you're just like scared you're just scared of what your life is going to look like completely different from what you've always known it to be how are people going to take you they're going to take you you know you'd be, you'd be surprised whether you were a complete screw up or you did everything perfect people are always going to have negative opinions of you it's because they have negative opinions of themselves it doesn't matter what comes out of their flapping gums a person's projections into the world around them 
is merely their own underlying feelings about themselves. Because somebody who's completely happy with themselves, independent, fulfilled, doesn't go around, you know, piss off at people and, you know, having poor opinions of other people. They just don't. I can, you know, you completely understand somebody's mistake as a mistake that they needed to make for that moment in that moment. A mistake is a mistake. Either shit happens or the mistake needed to be made because they needed to learn the redirection that learning that from that mistake is going to cause. There's no reason for anybody to ever be called a name or thought of poorly or rejected at any level. A rejection of anything outside of you is simply a rejection of self that you're projecting. And in this current energy, this two of rods with this hermit is the recognition of wanting this spiritual motivation, recognizing that you're going to have to go within and learn about yourself to do it. And that's probably right there where that fear is that I'm getting in the underlying energy, the underlying fear of transforming. So you're sitting around dragging your heels in this four of cups. You're, you're, you're like coming up with every excuse not to, but knowing, you know, you know, Here's your heart space. There's that ace that comes from God stepping in. God steps in and takes one hand, off, you know, you've got your hand on the globe and one rod. God takes the other rod away. And then here we are left and there's a staff in the hermits. He's plus he's got the lantern with a shining star in it. The globe. It's like you know what needs to be done. There's just that fear, that globe that's in that ace or that uh, two of rods. Is just like that moon. It's that same, the same imagery. The fear. It's like you're holding on to the fear in this card, but you've got your, you know, that fear is also going to be your guide through this internal journey, because you're going to be tired of being afraid. And here's that globe again in that sun. Thereby transmuting the. You've got the sun and the moon. And that's what I'm saying. It's like you recognize that the you're recognizing that you're going to have to conquer this fear. And spirit is right along with you, nudging you, saying, it's okay, Pisces. It's okay to get rid of all the pentacles you don't need. All the crap you don't you, you don't need it anymore. Make way for something new. Be honest. Be fair. Karma's coming in because it just wants you to be abundant, happy, and fulfilled. All right, Pisces. I'm going to pull an advice card from my uh, Chapel of the Sacred Mirrors deck by Alex Gray. Spirit, what advice do we have for Pisces? Spirit, what advice do we have for Pisces? All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> this is the African man card. Skin, large, lo, skin, largest organ of the physical anatomy, details our individuality. Inner systems exist similarly in all people, regardless of race or sex. Skin makes our differences obvious. Identifying self as other races and sexes, filling prejudices, prejudices and sympathies arise. Integrating with our collective human family, Dark skin, dark hair, dark eyes, continent of the origin of all humanity, black brother, reflect on your history, imagine your future. And the reflections on creation. So when we look at the death card, the transformation is a creation. Conquering your fear, turning the, the fears into your happiness, into letting go of what no longer serves you. So that you can make room for what new things the karmic justice revealed in this card is ready to. I can't even say that it's revealed in this card. It's the karmic justice that you know. You know you deserve it because you've worked hard to get you to this point. By being the person you are, the, the, by being that light you are to this level, you know that it's time to release this fear and, and walk through it and see what's on the other side of it. And the, the creation that comes from it internally, that will be reflected and projected externally into a 
emotional evolution this planet is going through and you and, and you're a forerunner in it Pisces I hope this has helped see you next time